Whether you own a home or you rent, the great thing now is that you can get the water as clean and pure as you want it to be. The cocktail of chemicals and microbes that we're exposed to in our homes is, of course, in the air, but it's also in the water. Of course, when it comes to the science of homes, we rely on the testing. Thankfully, a lot of these tests are not cost prohibitive, and you can test for chlorine, you can test for total dissolved solids, you can really start to take ownership of your own water. On our own home build, we turned to water experts at Elite Water Systems for all the water purification that we did in that house. And you met Mike and Kathy in those videos, which I'm linking on screen now, but we're with Mike and Kathy at their headquarters in Texas, and there are a number of new cool options for filtering and purifying water that they're gonna show us. Everybody's home is different. Uh, traditional water treatment has always been, hey, let's soften the water. Let's install a system, it's components, it's a one solution fits all. Well, we've realized that different homes have different needs. There's different water quality, um, even on municipal water. Sometimes proximity to treatment plants or exposure to constituents in um, aging infrastructure can affect the water for each individual home. And then uh, you also have well water, which, which greatly differs from home to home. So what we really try to do is take a custom approach for each home. Um, what we've heard from homeowners is they don't want the same old thing in water treatment. They want new treatment. They don't want to just soften their water. They want to filter their water. They don't want to just treat their water to the limits that have been set by the municipalities. They want to treat the water to their own standards. So what we do is we empower the homeowner to have that control within their own home. So we have the Platinum 1.5. You have your brine tank, your carbon tank, and your softener tank as well. You put salt inside the system to clean the actual tank itself. It's not there to touch the water. It's not gonna go in your water. Its sole purpose is to just clean this system. And I think, and just like the system that we put into our house that you saw Mike install there. And if you wanna see this installed, that's the video that you go look at. We're not gonna get all nerdy on the install, but that was something that I misunderstood for a long time. I think most people do is that the salt goes into the water somehow. The salt doesn't, doesn't do that. So. Aside from the salt and the softener, this middle piece, the filter, can you tell us about this? So this is your carbon tank. Uh, this particular tank that you have here actually has cat carbon inside of it. Uh, there are actually two different types of carbons. I know that- Cat isn't burned cats. No, not burned cats. Okay, no, it's, it stands not. for catalytic. <laughs> and so, uh, and so the, what's the kind that you put into our system? We used coconut shell carbon okay. inside, your, inside your actual installation. Basically what they do in that process, they're taking coconut shells, they're crushing them, they're putting them on, basically putting them on fire, burning them, and then they're putting them inside the tank. One of the things that's always been a little confusing to me is you actually used burned media to clean your water, which is so counterintuitive. But when you know more about the carbon process, it all makes sense. Okay, so this is coconut carbon. Correct. And so, what, one, we, you call these grains, right? One granule, one of these singular granules right here actually has a football field surface area. So this is what's in the older filters, including the one that we put in our house. What is in this one that makes it special? So what's in this one is gonna be catalytic carbon. So it's still a form of coconut shell carbon. The difference you get between the two of them is when you use catalytic carbon, catalytic carbon will take out the chloramines in water. One of the things that we have noticed is a lot of municipalities are using chloramines to treat their water because it's less expensive. The problem that you have is if you're using coconut shell carbon, coconut shell carbon will not take that out of the water. And as I understand it, they're using chloramine and chlorine is the one thing that we used to all have when, when I was a kid in the water, but chloramine is chlorine wrapped in ammonia, right? Correct. So it has a different chemical property. It'll last longer. It goes through the system and, and does a better job over a long term, which means they can use less of it. And so it makes it cheaper but then it has this other chemical property of bypassing entirely a lot of the, the filter systems that are Correct. out there that are the coconut shell carbon shell yeah. carbon like we have when you use catalytic carbon it's actually something you can regenerate as well if you choose to interesting and so the regeneration this is the thing that uh you call it backwash correct in in our system right mm -hmm. because it's not really regenerating but it's what you're doing with the salt and the media in the water softener right yes correct. which means basically it's the same as like if you took an air filter and you vacuumed it 
but but really really well so well that you could actually remove all the stuff okay so aside from the carbon then the water softener has something special and new about it right yeah so it does have some flow meters it will give you gallons per minute of usage it'll actually give you real-time data and it'll actually it'll actually let you know if you're using water so if you have like a very minimal small maybe leak or drip, or if you leave a faucet on or anything like that, this system will pick it up. So traditional water softening can be a lot of plumbing and fixtures. And that's why a lot of our home builders are off offering water treatment to protect the bones of the home. But some of our even more innovative home builders are realizing that homeowners care more and more about the health and wellness of their homes. So they're not just doing this as a warranty solution. They're doing this to provide their homeowners something that they find value in and something that adds value for their families as well. So we're leaning in here because this is a really interesting system. Uh, unlike our home in Atlanta, where we actually have a tank for our reverse osmosis water, this one is tankless, explain. So it's a little bit different because rather than requiring a pressure vessel, it has a pump so that the water can push through the membrane quicker and you can have reverse osmosis water on demand at your faucet without requiring a tank. But with the on-demand water on the tankless system, you actually have two gallons of waste for one reverse osmosis gallon that comes, which is ours has a tank and it's a one-to-one. -one. You do, and that's a trade-off for the technology. So you're balancing features with and, and functionality with some of the other trade-offs as well. Now on our channel, we like testing. We love the science and we like the proof. Now this reverse osmosis system actually has proof built in every time you use it. It does. And that's one of the challenges with water treatment is sometimes the homeowners say, oh, well, you've got this great system installed. How do I know it's working? So at any given time, the consumer can test their water by turning on the faucet and getting their reading of the TDS, which is total dissolved solids. It basically gives you a count of anything in the water that's not water. On the right, you have reverse osmosis, and on the left, you have filtered water. So when you turn the filtered water on, it tells you the remaining capacity of the filters. Because sometimes it's, an, it's just kind of a, a guesstimation. Hey, I've had my filters for six months. I need to change them. So the titanium is our point of entry for the home that we use for water treatment. We actually use this filter here. And, and this is a new technology, like this is a filter. Yeah, this is brand new technology. So the good thing about this filter is there's, what you can't see is that there's different layers of filtration within the mm -hmm. center, going to the center of that actual okay. filter. Um, kind of like how we talked about with the coconut carbon, football field, how much it can filter, that you're getting that same concept with this filter here. So actually handle 140,000 gallons before you have to have to actually have it changed. So this thing is no joke. That's like, Pretty solid. I mean, hence the name titanium, right? And so this actually fills up. This entire thing is filled with water, which Correct, is why yeah. you, you then need to undo the submarine <laughs> hatch <laughs> yep. on the top there. So does the water come in from the outside or get pumped into the middle of it? So the water actually comes in on the outside of the whole filter and it'll actually penetrate through the layers of filtration. And then if you flip it over here, you'll see on the center, once the water reaches this point, it's fully filtered. So the surface area being so, so much bigger means a lot for the pressure drop on this, right? Which is like, you can do better flow. Oh, you can do this. you can do a great flow with it. The good thing is you won't even really notice a pressure drop. If you do, it's very minimal. And so the pressure drop, just to remind everybody on the air side is a big reason why better filters are more harmful sometimes for an HVAC system is because the better filter you put in there, the more it restricts the flow, it's called pressure drop. And so this one, because it's got so much surface area of all the little nooks and crannies that all the water can get through, we're looking at flows up to like... About five to 10 gallons per minute on this. I mean, even then, and the good thing about these filters is they're fully customizable. So depending on the chemistry of your water in the area, we can customize the filter. So even though the outside titanium will look the same, we can always customize to what the homeowner needs for their chemistry. Of course, there will be more innovations as technology advances, but you wanna use informed decisions, informed decisions and please. educate yourself. The scientists can do what they could without asking themselves whether they should. We end up in Jurassic Park. 
So make sure that you're paying attention to the balance between physics, chemistry, and microbiology. If you have questions or like more ideas about videos you'd like to see in this topic, please do use the comments below. Also, we are in the process of filming season three of Home Diagnosis. And if you wanna see more about what we're doing and why we're here and the behind the scenes journey, you can always join our Patreon and check that out. That's at patreon.com slash home diagnosis TV. Like, subscribe, tune in next time.